What's up guys, Frugal BC got a huge show for you today. We got some really good stuff. I ran a poll to see if people will use an Algorand node. We're gonna talk about the results of that today. EXA launches its own token, continuing with a trend that we're seeing from these platforms. Also, we're gonna look at possible really easy way to run a node. We'll dive into that. Plus, Tiny Man seeing record breaking volume in December and Para adding a new feature. I think this is worth talking about. So we'll get into all this today. But before we do that, guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like and subscribe button. Now, remember, you don't have to smash it. You can just press it gently. It works just fine that way, too. Uh, besides that, we have channel memberships starting at only a dollar, plus our new $3.99 tier that will get you exclusive content. So be sure to check that out. And we are brought to you by Non-Fungible Domains. If you want that .algo address that makes doing everything in Algorand so much easier, go ahead and check that out in the description below. They got vaults and segments. Great partner for the Frugal BC channel. Happy to have them. As we're also happy to have Marcus, which is a meme coin and NFT project on the Algorand blockchain. They're building this little stoic army, especially on Telegram. You can check out the link below. Uh, I guess I'm, they got a big roadmap coming up with uh, everything from NFTs to a 2D game to a animated series, a book, all kinds of good stuff. So check that out in the description below. But let's get to today's content because first off, as we know, node staking is coming very, very soon. You'll be able to earn rewards for um, staking your Algorand to the network. And uh, I wanted to see like, are people going to run a node or are they going to do liquid staking? Because there's also this option to do liquid staking, which I think is uh, probably a good option for a lot of people. And let's just see what people had to say. As I ran this poll yesterday, I said, are you planning on running an Algorand node, liquid staking, something else? Let me know why in the comments. And actually, I wish I would have done something else because I think there's going to be some options. Um, but yeah, 60% of the people who responded said they are going to be running a node. Now, just to, just, to re, just as a reminder, running a node takes, well, it doesn't take any Algorand just to run a node. You can do that now. Um, the hardware requirements are really low. I've heard of people running nodes on Raspberry Pi, but uh, if you want to earn rewards, which is about 6.5%, I believe they said, um, you're going to have to stake 30,000 algo, which right now I figured out at about 35 cents, that's about, that's about $10,500. So it's a lot of money. Now for me, I could take what I got in, I could get take what I have staked in LPs and do that instead, but it seems like a much lower cost. There are also liquid staking options. You won't need that much algo. You can do that with, as far as I know, any amount of algo. And you'll get like a derivative coin that you can then earn on as well. So that's an option as well. But Marcus, who happens to be our sponsor, says he's actually running two nodes. Lycan, who's a friend of the channel, started talking about whether he would run a, was asking me all kinds of questions. It was a good chance to kind of talk about how that works. Started a node and liquid staking on Tiny. Both have been part of this should have been part of the survey. Well, what are you talking about? I put liquid staking here. It is part of the survey. <laughs> uh, holding stake, okay. And I will wait for one month, see how things are going, and we'll run my own node. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of doing myself. Uh, I've been wanting to do a breakdown. Now, the rewards are supposed to start this month. I don't think they're going to happen unless uh, maybe uh, there's still time yet. So uh, it, could, it could actually launch this month, but I've, I've heard... It's been pushed back to January. I haven't seen anything official on that, but um, but definitely something to think about here. And uh, let's go to the next item. And the next item is EXA launching its own token. So Tiny has a token. Folks has points, which uh, people are still kind of wondering what you do with. Some other, uh, some other platforms are starting to launch coins and EXA becomes the latest one to do so. EXA TGE is live. Claim your EXA tokens here. Uh, ensure you have algo in your wallet to complete your claim deadline you have until march 16th 2025 at 3 p.m gmt to claim your tokens yeah there's usually a note all unclaimed exit tokens will be transferred to the community treasury after the deadline here's the tutorial on how to do it we're not going to cover that um i think these things are usually actually pretty self-explanatory but you can go check out the you can go check out exa community i want to see if they said anything about how like what these are used for yeah, and Tiny Man, they're used for voting. Okay, so the exit token grants the community voting power to have a say in the protocol's future, but also to create proposals that can impact the direction of the project. Yeah, so this is exactly like Tiny Man. Tiny Man did the same thing where 
Um, you can you can vote on the network. You can vote on proposals. I, I personally like. I just generally don't have time for these sorts of things. Maybe I will in the the coming years since I'll be uh, taking a step back from my day job. But right now, I'm just like just as long as it works fine. And I don't know anything about running these platforms, so I don't even know why I should vote. But if you want to, you do have opinions. This will give you a way to to do that. So. That is the new Exit coin. And so basically my understanding is if you've been using the platform, you'll probably have some available. So we were speaking of nodes earlier and I found came across something that might be a really, really easy way to run a node. This is from Loot Wallet, loot.algo. It's kind of one of the undersung um, wallets on Algorand. You hear a lot about Para and DeFi, but not much about Loot. So let's take a look at this. Loot sister project Funk has reached a new milestone. It is now fully cross-platform, making it the easiest way to run a node on Windows, Mac, or Linux. The, and Funk, spelled F-U-N-C, runs as a service, meaning if your machine automatically starts, so does your node. That seems pretty helpful. Now this person says works great. I am still running AVM 3.27, should I upgrade? He says you're good, that's the latest version, okay. This person says the auto restart is a game changer and keeping my node up and running even my Windows decides to restart unexpectedly. You know, and pretty much every computer I've had does this where they just restart without any prompting. My, my Macs have, my Windows. Um, the only one that hasn't so far is my Windows 11. Th this new machine that I'm on now, which is a Windows 11 machine, does not has never restarted automatically. So that's something. Uh, yeah, but if you're looking for another option to run a node, this is probably a good one. I have no idea how easy it is. Um, you do There is a GitHub page involved, and that usually means it's like slightly out of my realm of expertise. But, but if you want to check that out, go check out loot.algo on Twitter, and you can find the GitHub address and go check it out. And let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have done that, or when you do, let me know how it goes. Uh, I mentioned Tiny Man before. Actually, they've had a record-breaking December, so let's dive into this. Historic milestone unlocked. Tiny Man has achieved a record-breaking $107 million in trading volume this December. That is huge. That's huge because there was a there was a time when Algorand's total TVO wasn't all that much higher than that. Um, now, now when, when you talk about this stuff, though, you have to take into account that the price of the coin matters. Uh, it definitely makes a difference. When the coin is higher, that means the same amount of coins being traded will mean a higher TVL or higher trading volume, et cetera. Um, trading volume, though, that's less the case than it is in locked total locked value because people are still trading real dollars and cents. Uh, I think they're more minded toward that than when you're just like making swaps and things like that. So, or locking into a network, but not necessarily. Um, after hitting 90 million in November, we're con we've confidently smashed through the $100 million barrier. While we celebrate this epic achievement, we're hard at work on exciting new features to make your trading experience even better. Um, yeah, I'm a, I do a lot of stuff on Tiny Man. I think it's great. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of them. So uh, good to see the success for them. And last but not least, I think this little feature on Para is well worth talking about. So um, I, I always, uh, always debate when a protocol adds a new feature, whether it's newsworthy or not. But in this case, I think I think the major wallets usually are. So let's take a look at what Para's got cooking. Get ready, AlgoFam. Para Wallet has just amplified your Algorand experience with price notifications. And now you'll get alerts when there are significant price movements on Algorand. Plus, if you've if you favorited any tokens, you'll get notifications to the for those too. This is just the beginning of Para Command. What I like about this, by the way, is that, uh oh, uh oh, we temporarily turned off this feature for everyone as make some adjustments. If you'd like to participate in the beta testing and still receive notifications, you can add broad, uh, all those letters and numbers, shorm <laughs> as a watch account. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I think these are great. I, I love that they're constantly adding new features. And I don't know if you guys used, I, I actually really like using Tiny Man in the Para wallet. I think it's like so slick and easy compared to, I used to be really big on doing everything on the PC, but I gotta say it's pretty easy to do right in the para wallet. I, I find that really easy and just slick to use, like it's good. So uh, yeah, what do you, how do you guys do your stuff? Do you do it in the, in the wallet? Cause if you go to, I think it's discover, the discover tab, it'll bring you, you can go right to tiny man or some of the other platforms. I haven't tried out a lot of them, but this one, the, the one on 
the the one for Tiny Man works really really well. Um, I I almost never get an error, whereas I sometimes get errors and have to like log off and log back in on the um, the website. So so that's it for today. Uh, if you're really bored, you can watch our giant live stream. We went for almost three hours last week. And by the way, Aurora C, you should get in touch with me. Check out the community tab. Uh, please send me an email because you won a million Nico. Uh, if I don't hear from you, I'll have to uh, go on to the next person. So I'll give you till the end of the week, but check that out. Otherwise, uh, guys, thanks so much for being for for watching. And remember, we have channel memberships in the the tab community tab below. Also, I've got a new clips channel. So check out Frugal BC Clips. Uh, that'll be linked in the description. And otherwise, stay safe out there. Have a great Christmas because I don't know. This may or may not be my last video before Christmas. So um, be good. Be good to each other. Spend time with family. Let's go Algorand and have a very Merry Christmas. And we'll see you in the future.